Hey Scorpio, this is your reading with me for Soulmates, October 2020. I had to think about that for a second, but you know what? I want to wish you a happy birthday if you have a sun sign uh, birthday in October, because, you know, some of you might have it in November. Um, also, you know, you might be a sun, well, you could be a, like, you know, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign Scorpio. Welcome regardless. Okay, some of you might be cross-watching, no problem. Um, so, we're going to see what's coming through. Also, want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below, since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below as well. They're done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy. Um, so these are handmade by me, they're meditated with and they're saged. I'm wearing a love bracelet, singles bracelet, soulmate bracelet, twin flame bracelet. <laughs> There's so many different ones on my Etsy store. The review section is on there as well so definitely do check those out if you're interested um, because I, I uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to see how so many of you have seen results with these items. There's also Evil Eye, Health and Happiness, uh, Career, Finance, Wealth, Bracelets as well, Evil Eye, Protection. So do check those out. There's crystals and teas and necklaces and just so many different things on there. So do have a little browse if you wanted to. Okay, so let's start with a Oracle card. So many people have been asking where to get this deck from and uh, I got this deck I think three years ago, I think it was three years ago, 2017 um, and they were selling this this version uh, online and it's an uh, original version but now they stopped printing it so I know that you can get it um, on like eBay and Amazon, they're not the original versions but I mean, you know, what can you do if they stop reprinting a deck that is in such popular demand? So this is the Romance Angel Oracle card um, deck, which is by Doreen Virtue, who I don't believe makes cards anymore. Um, she went through this whole um, sort of transition, transitional period of sort of not doing that anymore. So yeah, I thought I'd just let you know that because I have a feeling a lot of Scorpios are going to ask me the same question again. So just thought I'd tell you, but um, I want to get another card out as well, because you've got here chemistry, and you've got, ooh, see, uh, attraction, I had a feeling that these two cards were just going to sort of mirror each other in a really beautiful way, so chemistry here, there's a strong magnetic attraction here, um, as Scorpios, whether you're a sun, moon, rising, or a Venus sign, Scorpios have the tendency to feel very deeply when it comes to connections, they feel very intensely in terms of emotions, uh, it depends on the placement with other signs, of course, that's just very, very important, but but for the most part, especially if you have a Venus um, in Scorpio or if your uh, moon or rising is in Scorpio, it tends to be very, very intense for sure. You, you know, even again, you, your sun may be um, in Scorpio, but what I'm trying to say here is that um, you feel things very, very deeply and interestingly enough, I feel like your soulmate also feels things very deeply too because you've got here sort of this attractive energy like yes there's opposites there you know it's like the red and the blue of a magnet the red attracts the blue and it's like opposites attract but the intensity is very similar listen I also want to say as well you know sometimes it's that sort of hot and cold energy that attracts you may be very uh, emotional whereas the other person may be more of like an action taker right so you may also have different love languages you may have also different ways of loving and expressing things to your soulmate but at the end of the day the click is there that attraction is there and it's like a magnet it just attracts you know <laughs> even if it's opposites it's like opposites attract but it it just works right so that's that sort of magnetic energy I mean Imagine, you know, you sort of being the one that's like really hot and red, right? And then the other person also being hot and red. It's like the red and the red in a magnet repels. It just doesn't work, right? So there's something really special here in that regard. So perhaps you feel like your soulmate's a little bit different to your usual type. You may also feel like you don't understand them half the time. But that's, I personally feel that's because they... They do things a little bit differently, but they still really like you, and that's something you can still pick up on somehow. Um, attraction. Stop and smell the roses. Okay, so you got here, you attract a romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, you know, enjoy all of these little moments here with your soulmate. Um, for some of you, I really feel like you have a lot of gratitude in regards to your connection here with your soulmate, because 
you might be sort of replaying past moments, you might be thinking about, um, you know, ways in which perhaps they've comforted you or been there for you. Um, and I just feel like you have a lot of gratitude. And I feel like October here is showing, you know, have gratitude for the moments, enjoy the time, enjoy the time you either spend together. For some of you that are not together, I feel like you're really just going to be like doing a lot of self-love and just focusing on your current moment rather than always wandering back into the past. But I do feel that you may have just a lot of like healthy ways of sort of like going through the past, but in a healthy way. You know what I mean? Like not where you're like overplaying it or replaying it to the point where it drives you insane, but it's like you have gratitude for what bloomed and what grew and what fulfilled you. Judgment ruled by Pluto. Nice. Uh, so on the 4th of October, Pluto actually went into its direct state. It's no longer in retrograde. So with judgment here, it shows transformation. I feel like you're blooming. I feel like you're coming into your own. I think that you're also understanding the decisions you need to make here in regards to this soulmate connection. Many of you are making decisions. You're understanding how this person feels towards you. You might be doing a lot of research and realizing that maybe this person has a different kind of... Um, loving style you know they mention now like anxious and avoidant um <laughs> loving styles and how that sort of uh, happens and or how to deal with someone that's emotionally more unavailable or how to deal with someone who is like this and that and there's just so much out there you know it's, it's kind of crazy so you might be doing a lot of research on that you might be trying to figure out like how you can help this person and how you can also help yourself because remember if you help if you're trying to help someone else you must also help yourself remember to put your mask on before you Put someone else's on for them. I just feel like that's such a big important thing because you're showing to the universe that yeah okay I'm going after this person I'm trying to do my best but I'm also not neglecting myself in the process and the universe needs to acknowledge that most of the time. They need to know that. They need to know that otherwise the universe is like what the heck. I need to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Trust me that happens a lot okay. Sometimes if you're like neglecting yourself and you're putting someone else first the universe will continuously push you to learn lessons that oftentimes can be so painful until you've learned them and then you're like oh my goodness what the hell did I just go through. It happens a lot. So this five of wands here definitely shows that you know you may also be confused about this person. You might be like I don't know how to love this person. I, I don't know uh, how they feel about me um, because there is chemistry but remember chemistry alone cannot uh, you know be everything in a connection. There are lots of people you can have chemistry with but it's like you know how many people are there where you know exactly what's going to happen so it's four of cups at times you may feel like you don't really know what's going on in this connection and you may feel like they're rejecting you but again it could be because you might be for example an anxious um an anxious partner is that what they call it and then the other person might be more of an avoidant right so that can also cause uh, conflict you might be more of a secure partner they might be more of an avoidant you know what I mean so um you might also be uh learning up or educating yourself on those particular um, love styles. Um, definitely recommend Googling it because I feel like a lot of you here are trying to figure out what the heck is going on and it will make you understand why there may be some friction in that sense because there is chemistry, okay, and you're really like, you're really in it and you're really wanting to understand it because that's what judgment here is showing. And that Four of Cups shows you feeling a little bit like rejected. In that sense, you're like, okay, I'm trying to do as much as I can here. Like, I really feel something here, but why are they not reciprocating? Why are they not telling me? This shows here that they have a lot of feelings towards you, but they're hidden. So some of these people could be, again, emotionally unavailable, where you're someone that is very emotional, but they could be someone that's opposite. But And they try to show you through perhaps actions. They try to show you through... Um, doing things for you rather than actually saying it. So again, the moon here shows that, you know, below the surface, they really do care. But on the surface, you may feel like they don't care. Okay. Again, there's this opposite kind of energy that's really coming through here. You've got here the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So slowly but surely, I think you're coming to terms with understanding them and what they're doing and how they're doing things and etc. I think you get my point, my gist. You've also got here the Queen of Pentacles. See, this is you really trying to get to the bottom of things and this is you really trying to understand everything. At the end of the day, I feel like the most important thing here is understanding your value and then trying to understand the value of someone else. Again, that's just so important. I know that sounds really bizarre and really strange, but I feel like a lot of you might be like, okay, well, first of all, I need to understand myself and I need to understand 
you know, and go through red flags, and I need to go through this, and I need to go through that, and I need to understand, like, is this normal, is this not? Like, so many of you are watching tarot readings, trying to find out what this situation is all about. The um, attraction card here is very similar to this Queen of Pentacles. It's really about appreciating what you have in front of you, but for some of you, you're just plain confused. You're like, okay, I, I really have gratitude towards this, but I don't know what the heck's actually going on. Okay, so you've got here uh, the Ace of Cups, which totally represents this chemistry card, and then you might be like, okay, well, if it feels like the Ace of Cups, then why am I not getting something out of this person I feel like you want something emotional whereas they can't really necessarily maybe give you that emotional aspect of things to you so you might be thinking well this is how I feel so they should be feeling that exact way but they express things differently as we have just mentioned okay so this nine of wands I feel like they think a lot before they say things I also feel like this person is much more of an action taker with this fiery wand energy as well and some of you there could be a fire sign um but regardless of signs, what I see here, okay, this Five of Cups, is that you can feel quite frustrated um, just with how different you are. Because it's like, wow, the chemistry is there, but there's something, there's something different here. Um, don't allow this Five of Cups to upset you. Ooh, look at this, Four of Wands. Okay, don't allow that Five of Cups to upset you because there are two cups standing upright, okay, um, and there's three that have fallen over which this person is only focusing on. Now, it could also be that this person here, like, you feel this attraction, you feel this chemistry to them, but they're the ones that are, like, sort of ignoring you, and you're like, what? Like, how? How are you ignoring me if there's just so much that has happened? It tends to happen. It's part and parcel of life. It, it is one of those things. What I will say here is that... They have a different way of doing things, okay, <laughs> and, and feeling things and processing things. You may be hoping that they are very similar to you in that sense, but I don't feel that they are in that sense. So the four of wands here is really about balance. It's also 1111, and this is also a really divine card in regards to progression, momentum, direction, and also uh, letting things naturally progress, okay? And also you've got one person in red, again, at the bottom of this card, red and blue. Ta-da! Red and blue, right? So there's something quite magnetic. It's like your opposites that attract. Opposites that attract. And you might just be wondering, like, why are they not like me? Well, that's because they're opposite. I just feel like you're just going through this month, like, what the heck? What the heck? What the heck? <laughs> oh, it's okay, Scorpio. But remember, you. I think you're going to learn a lot this month. See, this five of swords, you might get really frustrated. Like, why can't you just talk to me? Why can't you just tell me your feelings? Hello? Hello? It's because they, they process things differently to you. Two of Wands, okay? Yeah, see that's like um, two sides, right? But it's, it's that energy. This can also mean a trip or a meeting as well. But yeah, there you go. All I'm seeing is a magnet, and I haven't seen one of them in such a long time since I was in school, you know, the ones that are red and blue. Um, but usually you need two actually because the actual magnet is red and blue and then you need another magnet and it's like, okay, you have to attach them to. Anyways, um, so this is your reading, uh, Scorpio. Interesting actually, isn't it? Um, in that sense, but it's what we have. Hmm. You see there, this person here has their sort of hand open and it's like you're, you're giving, right? Very interesting. So the one in red is, is the more fiery one, right? The action taker. Their way of uh, telling you how they feel is, is through giving. Whilst I think your way here is more so about emotion and then it's to sort of receive that given energy. Something here about them giving, which is quite interesting as well. Hmm. Okay, well, that's your reading. I really hope this helped you and do take care and stay safe. All the information is in the description box below as always as well. Okay, bye Scorpio.